Here's why I only lift weights twice a week. I was doing three days for a while. The last two months have been down to just two workouts per week and my physique has improved. In fact, I put the new training program in my Movie Star Body Masterclass. Uh, the reason is. why I train just two there days per week is because when I train, I go insane. I go very heavy. I go for PRs. I push my body very hard and it takes some time for your central nervous system to recover. So by lifting twice a week, I'm actually hitting more personal records. I got way better recovery. When I train, it feels awesome. And by training two days a week, my appetite is actually lower so I can get leaner and keep my calories a bit lower and dial that in. Oh, well, I want to break that down a little bit. So first he said he's hitting PRs every single time. Um, again, this is, you got anecdotal evidence versus imperial, imperial evidence, right? Uh -huh. So we know that, you know, there's a risk reward ratio for everything that you do. So mm -hmm. if you're hitting PRs every single time, you have a higher chance of getting injured compared to if you're going below that. Yeah. And that, you can't do that for long. Yeah. You just, you can burn yourself out. But, yeah. and if you go like 70, 80%, um, of your max compared to that PR. So say your PR is 100 pounds. Yeah. You go to 80 pounds, you're going to get the same essential benefits as you would have going to PR, hitting mm -hmm. a PR without actually having the risk reward ratio being crazy skewed. Yeah. Right. Another one is, I mean, he's okay, you're getting stronger. You do, you know, something called a linear progression. You, you increase the movements or increase the weights every single week. Yeah. You're going to get stronger. That way you're going to see progress. Uh -huh. Um, if it's completely efficient, I or it's going to get him to where you know people are going to be where he is two days a week. I can I don't believe it. Um, it's kind of yeah. I mean, two day, two days a week. It, it sound it sounds like I mean red flags go up as soon as he started pushing the uh, the the movie star thing. Um, I don't I don't really believe that that's where that's where he got his physique from, and. You know, one of the things that, you know, I'm wondering is what is he doing outside outside of these two days a week? Okay, because if you look in the background, my boy's got some, you know, MMA dummies. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but boy's burning some calories outside of, outside of you know, just the training. So it's not just the training that he's doing. He's doing more outside of this to stay, to stay that lean. Um, and like you said before, fitting enough volume within, you know, two days a week. You, you can't that, recover from it. That day you're going to get toast, especially if you're not someone who's, you know, a trained elite athlete. Mm -hmm. And as we know, too, the, the more trained you get, more volume, more volume loading you're going to need to actually see more progress. Yeah. So, yeah, someone's going from not working out ever, ever into working out two days a week, they're going to see progress. Yeah. And one of the things that kind of stuck out was when he said he was working out three days a week and he went to working out two days a week and his physique improved. Um, I've never had someone, it, you know, your frequency depends on a couple things. Number one, one of them is going to be your training age. It looks like, you know, this guy's probably been training for quite a while and to go from three days a week to two days a week and have your physique improve and still be, you know, progressing I, I, and to still be progressing is a little questionable. And I think he, what he means by, you know, hitting PRs, I think he means Progressive overload. I don't think that he he means hitting PRs every, every, single, every time. single time. Yeah, where it's like you're constantly getting better, or adding you know either weight or reps, weight or reps, weight or reps. I think it's either he's adding, you know, he he's doing it better. He's doing the the workouts faster. I don't think he's hitting PRs every single time because again, you can't do that for that long. Yeah, I, if I don't play devil's advocate too, like I'm trying to get, I'm trying to understand what he's saying and try to put myself in his shoes. Or see, like, say this actually did happen, and he went from three days a week, two days a week. Now I see more progress. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was working out. Like I said, he's obviously an advanced lifter. Mm -hmm. um, let's say he went from three days a week, two days a week, and he was at the point of overreaching or borderline overtraining three days a week. Mm -hmm. He was going just pellets in the metal, going ham. It seemed mm -hmm. like his type of guy who's just going to go hundred percent max effort everything he does. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe going two days a week gave his body a chance to recover and relax a bit and catch up and that's where he started seeing more progress because he was at a point where he wasn't giving by his body enough time to actually recover to what he was doing mm -hmm. would you agree with that uh yeah i'd agree i'd agree like that's yeah yeah that, that's like what i would say like if anything is happening that's what's happening but that's not uh that's again that's empirical evidence that's not something that is going to be the most beneficial for the average person mm -hmm. right what people would this probably be beneficial for do you think doing two days a week i think you're just crazy busy and like hey you know 
going something's better than nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're going from doing nothing ever to going two days a week, I mean that's that's progress. Okay. Whether this is you know the most advanced you know scientific program in the world, I've never seen it, so I I, I just I think it's probably better options.